Welcome to uh, another edition of the Nightly Nuke. It's our Friday free-for-all edition. How are you doing Friday free-for-all in there, Ted? I'm doing so good because I've got Blackie, my 1965 Gibson Birdland made in Kalamazoo, Michigan by great American handcrafted woodmasters, and I get the blood and guts from my girl right here. It sounds over the technology of the nightly nude, but in this man cave, Cuckoo's Nest, Keith, it is so sexy I can hardly stand myself. Let's talk about music. I know you and Kid Rock have a big event coming up next month down in Florida. Tell, tell us about that. Well, you know, Detroit uh, is quite the epicenter of uh, piss and vinegar and attitude. We didn't invent the middle finger in Detroit, but we perfected it by uh, December 13th, 1948, I believe was the day. Uh, yeah, there's an attitude and a spirit and a defiance and a groove, a pulse a heartbeat that the Motown Funk Brothers and all those great Motown masters and Mitch Ryder and the Detroit Wheels and Bob Seger and Brownsville Station and, and Grand Funk Railroad and the Amboy Dukes and this really uppity smart-ass guitar player. I mean, uh, I think it's uh, Ted... Ted Nugent Burger, that's what it is. But anyhow, what Kid Rock is continuing in Detroit is a legacy of musical authority. In fact, I have I called him the other day. I watched him on Access TV where it's uh, the Artist Den. I think the up the series is called the Artist Den. And Kid Rock and his amazing band performed at Graceland, Elvis Presley's home. Keith, I know the power of James Brown and Little Richard. I know the power of Wilson Pickett and the Motown Funk Brothers and Mitch Ryder. I know the power of musical fire breathing authority. Kid Rock, he's right up there with those names I just named. Oh. And that's really saying something. I he, perfor he performed. I don't know if you saw that performance the other night, but you need to find it. And he represents the top 1% of musical powers, musical genius, musical performance, and musical authority. And that Detroit spirit has uh, got the attention of music lovers everywhere, especially with, shall we say, a conservative middle finger on fire political coalescence. Mm -hmm. and on, on April 20. April 29th, Friday, April 29th, there's a big beach bash in Panama City, Florida, that they have decided to hire me and my killer band, Jason Hartless and Greg Smith, the Detroit Muscle Band. And we're headlining Panama City Beach Bash on Friday, April 29th. And on Saturday, April 30th, Kid Rock is headlining the Beach Bash. Now, oh. I'm suspecting that just with our musical prowess and authority and fire-breathing groove, um, that would be enough to hire Ted Nugent and Kid Rock. But I have a funny feeling in this whirlwind of uh, abuse of power by the Marxist government in the United States of America, I have a funny feeling that the people deciding to hire Ted Nugent and Kid Rock for the Panama City, Florida Beach Bash, April 29th and 30th, I believe they might have hired the two of us, the gruesome twosome, to make not just a musical authoritative statement, but maybe there's a little Maybe there's a political middle finger on fire involved. All I can say is that it's going to be the opening volley of my Ted Nugent Detroit Muscle 2022 tour in Panama City on Friday, the 29th of April. And the next night, Kid Rock is headlining on the 30th. And, you know, Kid Rock plays Cat Scratch Fever every night. Now, again, I don't know how this technology delivers. On this but stop and think of the groove factor. Goosebumps have goosebumps. All I can tell you is that Kid Rock plays Cat Scratch Fever every night. Toby Keith plays Stranglehold every night because everybody needs killer songs in their sets. And I may stay over on Saturday, April 30th in Panama City, and I might get up on stage and play Cat Scratch Fever. What a treat. 
perfectly that night. So yeah, it's going to be a great tour. Ted Nugent, Detroit Muscle. The record will be actually debuted on my Detroit Muscle CD or however it comes out these days. It's coming out on vinyl, by the way. Ted Nugent, Detroit Muscle 2022 on CD and vinyl. And you get it on Spotify and iTunes or Apple, whatever that stuff is. But the actual record is coming out on Friday, April 29th, when I perform the headline, The Beach Bash in Panama City. Perfect. If you want to see where the tour is coming, it's going to be near you. Go to tednugent.com, click on the link that says tour, and you can see where he's going to be. I found Ted's coming to Kansas City in August. Can't wait to see it. See where he's coming near you. Pick up the album while you're there. Pick up old records. Pick up some merch. tednugent.com, and enjoy some Ted Nugent. I can't wait, Keith. Ted Nugent, Detroit Muscle has a nice ring to it. 